So we're here in the Style Club again with the lovely SJ from Dirty Ethics. Hey, SJ, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. So you're going to chat, talk us through your, your hair history. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't really <laughs> even thought about it. I'm like, mm, my hair history. Okay. This is an exciting one because you're quite adventurous with your hair. So yeah. tell us about your first one. Um, I think, well, my very first... Well, I'll tell you where it all actually began. Why? Okay, <laughs> I don't know if I want to say this, but uh, I was about like I've always had my hair when I was like younger. It was just kind of like like long, kind of to here, but a very fine hair, and so it doesn't really kind of drab and stuff, you know. And when I was thirteen or fourteen, my dad was like, "You should get your hair cut like really short," and I was like, "No." <laughs> you know? Dad was giving yeah. you a style. I know. Yeah, that's why I was like, "No, it's stupid time. Do that." And anyway, so he was like, you know, I'll give you 30 extra pounds for shopping. And I went, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. So I went into a Peter Mark, actually, the one uh, in in um, St. Stephen's Green Shopping Centre. And uh, I went in with my sister and she just like pointed at this other hairstylist that had like really short cropped hair. And she was like, she wants that. And she just shoved me into the chair and she ran away. Like, and then, you know, 45 minutes later, I had like really short hair. And I think I was just like really gobsmacked and I was a little bit like overwhelmed so I was a bit tearful oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always a bit emotional though isn't it yeah big time I was so like oh my god yeah exactly yeah. but then you know uh, like a you know, day be- later I was like oh right I actually like you can see my face and that's <laughs> quite a like statement hairstyle for a 13 year old how did that go down yeah. in school yeah we went down really well actually yeah it was funny because I kind of had this like um because I, I used to wear glasses as well, like my long hair. And then from like second year into third year, yeah, the hair got cut short. You know, I dyed it blonde then, I got contact lenses, I didn't wear makeup. And so it was like, like a transformation. It was, yeah, yeah, it was like extreme makeover. <laughs> next, okay, so you cut, cropped it, dyed yeah. it. What was the next big kind of like statement hairstyle um, or something that you remember? Um, well, a friend of mine, her older brother's friend used to work in a salon um, a well-known salon in Dublin, and uh, so he wanted somebody to, to, to model for him for um, just they do these like, kind of cover shots on, on the, the window, and so I was like, yeah, okay, cool, free haircut, you know, I was like 16, and um, so I got a red bob, like a Bosco bob, <laughs> I suppose. It's, so it doesn't sound very nice when I say it like that, but it was it's actually really. She nice. managed to make Bosco look cool. <laughs> yeah. And so it was, yeah, so it was like fire engine red with and um, with a little kind of micro fringe kind of style. Yeah, so I really loved it, like, and that was definitely quite a statement. Totally. Mm-hmm. totally. Yeah. And how long did you keep that or was it impossible to manage? Um, it, uh, yeah, it was like every two weeks I'd be back in, yeah, like, getting it done again. But, um, but they were really, really super about it, like, and, you know, it was a great advertisement for them and stuff. So they didn't mind. But I think I kept it for about three or three months, three or four months. Yeah, but it was good fun. But I had to work down in, um, my parents had a, um, a cafe down in Carrick and Shannon at the time. And so I think I just finished my leaving cert, yeah. And um, here comes the city slicker down. Look. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, listen, can you come down and work like, you know, a few days a week? And I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't really want to, like, but I had to go down. And, you know, I, like, everyone up in Dublin was like, wow, your hair is really cool. Like, I really yeah. like your hair, you know. And then I go down there, they'd be like, great, that's cool. <laughs> like, I mean, I got like slagged out of me. Like, I really. Okay, really so did that make you change it or did you. Persevere. No, I persevered. <laughs> no, I persevered for about a, about a month and a half. Until longer. the freebies dried up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, yeah, until Dad was like, "You can't work out on the floor because it just it's, you're just bringing like the wrong attention." <laughs> 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 just, yeah. I can just imagine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think one of those things in my arms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next big statement. Like, um, I mean, this is quite a statement, statement. But we'll get to um, that. I suppose then after that, I was toned down. Like, so you know, I think it was the beginning of like those little coloured extensions and stuff. Like, so I like little Tail. copper ones and like whatever. So I had those and then went on to just like dark brown and then went on to kind of like a cherry kind of a raspberry kind of a brown. And so it just changed quite a lot. But over the last while, since this now, it's been like brown, dark brown. Kind of asymmetric, same kind yeah, of style, like pretty much like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, it's like, like your signature style. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if you want to say it like that. But now it's more just convenience. Got yeah. a convenience cut. <laughs> it's a grand. And tell me, have you ever done the whole, like, you know, the way they say you cut a man out of your hair? Have you ever had like an emotional breakup where you've said, no, you know what, I'm going to cut this off? No, 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 not really. No, okay, no, no, no. But I think like what'll happen is I kind of have like regular color, like brown or whatever, my own natural color for a while, and then I'll get really bored, and I'm like, oh, I'll just go for something new. So I got this done when um, I was in the states a few months ago, a couple months ago for South by Southwest. <coughs> we were playing at that festival, and uh, we were in New York and LA as well. So 
we had a day off in Texas and I was like, I wouldn't mind getting my hair done. And um, I wouldn't mind dyeing it pink. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so, you know, why not? And uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to get my hair done here. after this interview, actually, okay. here in Star Club, because yeah. it's wonderful. And is it, does it take, like, a lot of maintenance? Does it, I mean, the colour fade quickly or is it kind of... It does fade quite quickly. Like, I mean, when I, when I first got it done, it was, like, really vibrant, but it was quite bright, like, it was magenta pink and baby pink. Okay. So it was still quite, really, it was quite fresh looking. And then when I got back, I was just, I just I'd do it myself a couple of times. Yeah. And I just use crazy colours, which you can get, like, oh, in... Yeah, salon systems and like you know those kind of yeah. like beauty supply stores so come here tell me obviously as the front woman um of the dirty epics your image is like is kind of integral to the the whole band it's pretty i mean a statement kind of image there's lots of sparkles and sequins and mm. um, do you put a lot of thought into that or is it um not? yeah a bit, a bit of thought like i mean i don't it just seems natural now to go okay i have not like i have to wear something sparkly but i enjoy it because it's kind of fun like do you know what i mean and you know, it's kind of eye catching and stuff, but um, yeah, I think it's good to make a bit of an effort. Like, I would, I don't, I think people maybe think that I put loads of effort in really. Thank, Thank you very much for talking to us.